Well, this year, there's not, not nearly as many. Looking at our portfolios, there's some, uh, some gold companies that I think could be worthwhile. One that I, I like a lot and we, we bought in July is Humana. You know, they just reported results and all of their, the mines reported either record or very, very strong earnings. The all-in sustaining cost has gone down and the price of gold has gone up. So that augurs well for future prospects. They're also bringing online the Wasamak project in Quebec. So that's going to take a few years to do, but it, it means that there's something, something coming along at the same point in time. Um, they've also refinanced their debt. All of their debt from 2022 to 2024 has been refinanced at a lower rate. So on all of that debt, they were paying over 4%. Now they've refinanced it at 2.63, so that's going to save them quite, quite a bit of money. Uh, so the balance sheet has been dramatically improved. So I think, I think this could be uh, a good year for that company. Um, another one that I like is Gore Resources. Gore's a, a gold company. Uh, they are listed in the States, but based in Canada. They split, so this is the, the half that's actually remaining. Fortitude Gold was the other part. It's done very well, but Gore hasn't. They, one of the things some people don't like is they often just have about five years left of gold in the ground, it appears, but then they keep on finding more gold. And one of the beauties of this, same as with Yamana, it pays a dividend. So while I wait for both of these companies to turn around, I can be getting some money back. And to me, that's absolutely critical. So Gore is, uh, you know, it's a good company. I think it's pretty strong. They're in the midst of a takeover of Aquila Resources. I'm not sure how that will go. It's going to take a number of years to know till they, they build it out. But they're trying to diversify to add to the future potential. But of course, to do that, it's going to cost them a few dollars. Right. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, interesting. Um, Goro, I think it's it's come up a bit off the bottom. Do you still think it's as much of a tax selling candidate as it was maybe a few months ago? Or well, it would have been a better candidate a little while ago. But I, I mean, the sell target we have on that is seven twenty four, so still has quite a bit of upside. That's uh, better than a three bagger from here. Same as Yamana. I think that can do uh, better than a double from this point in time. So as usual, both companies are what I look for in terms of 100% plus potential on the gain side. Of course, none of that happens in one day unless there's a, a takeover, and I don't expect a takeover on these two in the near future. Okay, good. And, and going back to Yamana, yeah, you mentioned the Quebec project. How big of a, an incremental difference is that to the company in terms of production? Do you know roughly like when it's complete? What are they expecting? Well, it, it's, it's pretty big. One of the beauties of this company is it's so diversified. I mean, they've got the five mines going now. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many ounces this will add. I don't know if they know exactly how many it'll, it'll do. But they just did a feasibility study on it, and they've just decided to go ahead with it. So they obviously believe there's a, a tremendous amount of potential just waiting to be discovered.